Or shall we? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. Today we are looking at a pink ink from Venta, Venta Lacambini. Thanks goes out to whoever sent that ink. The ink of the day is this pinky gold shimmer ink. Lots of shimmer. Ink swatch. Water resistance test shows might not want to use this on the outside of an envelope for fear it may wash away. Especially on days like today where it's raining outside and I feel yucky. Here is our toilet paper chromatography. I see pink and green and then blue along the edge, which you guys can't see because cameras are stupid. And here is our ink painting of the day. And again, you can't see the really cool green and blue that's coming out of this ink. Ugh, drives me crazy. I have to tell you all right now that this ink was rather uncooperative. It is one of the driest inks that I have ever used. So I have to admit to you that I have done the review with a Q-tip, well, with my toothpick inserted into, this is just a dental toothpick, with the tip inserted into some white lightning and then into the barrel of the pen so I can get it to write. Because I, it, I kept having to prime the feed, prime the feed, prime the feed. You shouldn't have to prime the feed more than once. If you're priming your feed more than once, it's the ink's problem. Take the converter out, or if you have a, a piston, then take out the, the nib portion, and then take a tip or flood the feed. Flood the feed so you can see it coming out. See how it's like popping out there. Put a little bit of white lightning just dip the tip of the ink in there and then suck it back into the into the barrel and then kind of give it a slosh about gently not too vigorously and then prime it again and you should have a sufficiently lubricated ink okay. so this is and now it's behaving beautifully. Venta inks. Lockambini. nice ink now that it's lubricated a little bit had a little bit of railroading there but I was going pretty fast okay let's do some ink review shall we and if you look at this feed it's just completely and utterly saturated with shimmer ink this is gonna be a nightmare to clean out so I highly encourage Anybody who's using this much shimmer in their pens to have an ultrasonic cleaner and some dish soap and some ammonia. Can I have? 
have some, please? Thank you. Okay. This is the Pen and Gear Memo book from Walmart.com. Now, all of these are going to be feathered. I apologize in advance, but not a whole lot of ghosting I see. So that's good. This is lightweight traveler's notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Super lightweight traveler's notebook paper. Also, it smears. So that's something to think about. If you'd want an ink that doesn't smear all the shimmer all over the place, this one might not be the one for you. And it's bleeding and ghosting. This is Moleskin 70 GSM. Look at the shimmer. And it's just all over the page. Spread like a chicken. Blood to the page. Field Notes Journal. A little bit of spread, blood to the page. Fabriano Eco Qua, 85 GSM. Shimmer. A little bit of spread, no bleeding, no ghosting. Ayush, 100 GSM paper. Shimmer, no bleeding, no ghosting. Why am I going in so close? Bring the camera in. All right, this is Leuchtturm 1917. No feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Midori MD paper. Nice shimmer. No feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. 52 GSM Tomaway River. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Cosmo Air Light, 75 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Office Depot, Office Max. A little bit of feathering, blood to the page. The Jot Journal from the Dollar Tree. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Maramon Demosthenes 80 GSM dot grid. A little bit of spread, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Oxford Optic Paper 90 GSM. A little bit of feathering, blood to the page. Caliber Soft Journal. A little bit of spread, bleeding, and ghosting. Claire Fontaine 90 GSM. A little bit of spread, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Exceed 100 GSM heavyweight paper from Walmart.com. A little bit of spread, blood to the page. Archer and Olive notebook paper 160 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Up and Up Wide World Composition Book from Target.com. No feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. True Red Composition Book from Staples.com. No real feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Applica Notebook Paper. 81.4 GSM, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Pelican. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. A little bit of ghosting right there. The Nanami 7C's 68 GSM, Tumaway River. No shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. 
Sun's on Tumway River. No shimmery, no feathery, no bleeding, no ghosting. You style notebook paper. Feather like a chicken. A little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. CVS caliber notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oxford notebook paper. A little bit of spread. No bleeding, no ghosting. Five star notebook paper. Feather like a chicken. Blood to the page. Pen and gear heavyweight notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Aqua B cross section pad. A little bit of spread. A little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. HP premium 32 pound copy paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. JNB copper plate graph pad from johnneilbooks.com. A little bit of spread, blood to the page. Rhodey Adopt Pad, 80 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Original Crown Mill, 100 GSM paper. A little bit of spread. A little bit of ghosting. Okay, let's do a comparison panel. See where this ink lies. Definitely a pink ink. Okay. Wow, this uh, ink looks red almost. Oh my gosh. Colors are just way off. Okay, well, we're just going to have to take everything with a grain of salt because this color is just way off. I can't do that right now, Maria. All right, this is Venta Inks Lockham Beanie next to Van Diemen's Marilyn. No, no. Okay, now we're getting closer. Let's see. Decaying and Klein is kind of close. Burgundy is kind of close. Yozakura is kind of close. Alpha Boo is kind of close. Apple Blossom is kind of close. Cherry Blossom is kind of close. Mm. Now we're getting into the fuchsia. Cuprin is a little close. These are kind of close. Conch shell is kind of close. Except for it doesn't have any shimmer. Flowers on the way kind of close. Shell pink is kind of close. Kindness pink is kind of close. Bouquet de Anton is kind of close. I 
And that's it. Well, what do you guys think about today's ink? Do you have this ink? Or are you thinking thoughts about getting this ink? Just know that it's very dry and that you might need to add a little drop of white lightning or a little toothpick of white lightning to your converter to get it to flow good. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. And you see how much I just swiped off of that? Gotta be very careful because it's gonna go everywhere. Put that on my use it as an eyeshadow. <laughs> Oh, fancy for a day. All right, that's all I've got for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the little bell. Make sure it's sent to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. Check out my new website. Join the calligraphy class. Join the Discord. Save 10% off by clicking the link in the description, and I will be back very soon with another video. So, take care until then. Okay, love you, bye. Have a great day.